This is MacBay, and welcome to another episode of MacBay Tutorials. So today I'm working on a diorama project where I'm going to install window. Uh, this is a current diorama that I'm working on. It's a dojo diorama. It's going to be double-sided, so as you can see, you know, this is the exterior part of the building and if I flip this on the other side this will be the interior so totally different um, um, texture on my on my walls right uh, so the um, challenge here is to be able to create a window that can work uh, double-sided as well so so meaning I have to create a window uh, that will have a finished look on both side of this diorama and it will be installed permanently I'm gonna be using a, a different type of method in making this window compared to a previous video that I uh, posted on uh, here in YouTube on my channel um, where that one is only one-sided um, window and I basically didn't really use some framing in there I only used the framing from the actual cut that I made on the uh, on the foam so this one's a little bit more uh, different and will require for us to to build the window more uh, from scratch so in terms of materials um, you know, one of the challenge that um, I encounter in this one is finding uh, a material, uh, kind of like the glass type material, that's more sturdy than than what I normally use in in creating a window. Um, normally, this is this is the material that I use, or you know, in my previous video, this is the kind of materials that I introduced um, using in there so this one is you know the um, from the packaging of the figures so clamshell plastic clamshell and as you can see this one is mm, really thin and and you can't really hold any structure without um, good support and even then even if you put good support in here it's gonna be tough to, to actually install that uh, you know in especially in this big of a window um, I think this is this is good for like smaller uh, windows it's probably a good option but for this one I decided to go and use a styrene sheet a clear styrene sheet uh, and you could buy this at uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby um, you could actually find this also in the framing section of a hobby store because uh, normally this is what they use on the frame for the photos uh, it's not really glass it's plastic and it's you know kind of bendable um, to a certain point but I wouldn't recommend it you know you bending this all the way but this is a material that's um, pretty sturdy enough and at the same time workable um, in terms of cutting it by using just an exacto knife so this is you know fairly uh, for uh, you know perfect for this kind of uh, use so at first um, since this one's gonna be a dojo diorama I can't really use just uh, a, I can't really use this like like this like a clear glass because uh, dojo, uh, dojo diorama windows usually um, actually that were probably made like with like paper or something like that back in the days um, it's not really glass glass or or uh, other type of materials but not glass so I'm gonna try to you know mimic that that look and what I did to this one is I actually stained this with 
uh, white acrylic paint um, just straight up you know I didn't really do any I mean normally uh, for a worn out look um, you know I normally sand this with a fine grit uh, sandpaper before applying any stain but in this case I don't really want to make this look like it's worn or you know worn because you know a dojo usually is you know pretty clean you know clean um, kind of like orderly you know so I don't really want to make it look like it's beat down or anything like that so so what I did is just you know apply straight up you know um, watered down white acrylic paint and once you do that you're gonna come up with something like this so I did this on both sides I applied white acrylic paint and then I, after it dries you have to apply a uh, protective coating on this one like a clear matte protective coating just to make sure that the the paint won't scr scratch off um, because if you don't do that the paint will easily scratch off and you don't really want that all right so now that uh, we have this thing ready um, the next step we, uh, the next step that I'll be doing here is create a frame for this uh, window or a sheet of plastic styrene that I that stained and what I'm gonna use for that is basic uh, this one uh, just balsa wood you know you could buy this anywhere uh, any hobby store so um, my plan here is to have this kind of like go you know like this one there and then on both sides right and then and then I'm gonna have a smaller balsa wood that will go kind of like diagonal I'm gonna probably gonna have this like in like three parts right here and then do a smaller um, portion that goes vertical to create that kind of like lattice uh, window and you know I decided to go ahead and make um, a, you know painted this balsa wood with with brown earth brown acrylic paint so that you know once I apply it in here I don't have to do that much painting anymore because otherwise it's gonna be tough to to paint this you know afterwards because you know you might end up um, getting some droppings on this you know sheet and you don't want that you want it to be clean so so as you can see I already made my uh, uh, cuts on my balsa wood so I already um, glued this part and this part right here so basically what I'm just doing right now is just you know I, I'm using like this glue and you know just using my brush you know just apply it I mean, you know, as you can see also, you know, when I painted this balsa wood, I didn't paint one side of it since we don't really need the whole part to be painted. So just apply that like that. Make sure we get a little bit on this part because it's going to abut on the, on the top and bottom. And since I pre-cut this, it should fit in perfectly. So that that's the only thing about this um, method of building or making this window is that your your cuts in here needs to be more precise compared to the previous tutorial that I made where you're only dealing with one side 
uh, and so you could hide a lot of the imperfection at the back like you know when you make the cuts for your for some of the wood pieces in there So what I did is I just wiped off some of the excess glue that I have on the other side and it's actually you know pretty I mean the glue sticks pretty good you, you don't really need to apply too much um, pressure for a long time you know normally it sticks there so, so that's that part is good so let's work on this side Yeah, so again, uh, this method just requires you to do more intricate work. But um, definitely this will look a little bit more better um, in the end. So that there too just make sure it's aligned on the side so that it doesn't go over the edge of the styrene plastic sheet at the back yeah so that one is you know, it looks looking pretty good. So again, you know, I'll be doing this exact same thing on the other side of this right here. I'll be adding the same frame. But before I do that, I'm gonna go and start doing my diagonals and vertical lattice for this window. So now you can see the uh, vertical uh, lattice for this window. Um, basically the same you know method of applying you just you know put some glue on one side of this make sure you have a, like a paper towel handy on the side because this one can get a little messy and you will have to wipe out the uh, or wipe off the excess glue so that you won't have some smudgy looking uh, window afterwards so so that's what I'm doing right now just wipe it off a little bit on the side Too much go back in there and you know I also marked where prior you know I mark where I want um, my balsa wood to align because if you don't have that then you might end up having some um, crooked You know crooked line and that won't look good so yeah so make sure prior to to uh, gluing your balsa wood to the window make sure that you already added some some markers on the side where you're gonna align it when you glue it Alright, so I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'm gonna continue doing the uh, vertical lattices. Okay, so here's the completed uh, window. I went ahead and uh, worked on this last night and, um, you know, continued working on this. So, you know, I finished, you know, um, putting this balsa wood, the horizontal ones, and then continued working on this vertical ones um, this is the one that probably takes more time 
It's because each one of these, as you can see, is uh, one piece of balsa wood that I have to cut. So you can imagine I have to cut, you know, uh, one, two, three, four, five times four. So that's about, you know, 20 pieces of, um, of this section. And then I have to like, you know, glue it individually. So again, you know, remember, you know, I was talking about that this kind of method is a little bit more time consuming. And that's because you have to spend a lot of time doing the cuts and then gluing it into place, as you can see. And not, all, not only that, uh, remember, this is a dual uh, sided uh, window. So what you see here is what I have in the back as well. So, um, yeah, so, you know, it's, uh, it looks good. I like the way um, this one came out. And and this is basically ready to be mounted on my, um, let me see, let me get this piece right here. So here's that uh, um, dial panel that where this window is supposed to go. So it's supposed to go like this, um, kind of like inside here, but let me see. It's, I can tilt this a little bit, but this will be going in kind of like right in the middle right there. You know, it's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be sitting here or here, but it's gonna be sitting right in the middle of this. So you can kind of imagine, you know, how you know, this is kind of thick, right? So the window's gonna be right in the middle. And that's kind of hard to, um, to, because I want to make this as clean as possible. So, uh, what I'm, I'll, what I'll be doing here when I'm ready to mount this window is basically, you know, have this in there, and then to hold this in place, I have to put additional um, trim that will put this, keep this in place. So, so if you can kind of imagine. Yeah, this is, is kind of hard, <laughs> but so if it's just so if this window is gonna be like this, right, like that, I have to put another lining right here of maybe another balsa wood, and I'll have to do it on the other side as well of this window, and it will kind of envelope this uh, whole frame around, and it's gonna be on both sides, and that should keep this into place. Uh, but right now this one is not re it's not really ready to be mounted here because uh, the real next step for me here is actually finishing um, painting this whole panel first uh, to, to get that done and then once that's done that's when I'm gonna put it in so maybe when I get to that point um, I'll be able to show you the the real finished product by then all right all right so I was able to um, paint this panel or wall panel and now I'm ready to mount our windows that we've been building for the last um, few section of the episode right here and so as you can see I have um, installed a trim or molding um, right here pretty much along the the windows opening and what what uh, that do is actually hold this in place so if i just insert this window there it sh you know should be able to have this in place so as you can see um that trim in the back got this window pretty much in place so what I'll do there um, is basically uh, I'll probably glue uh, this so that to keep this in place and I may uh, go ahead and add additional molding on this side as well so you know this this is basically what I use for the um, the molding uh, it's just a craft foam that I cut to the thickness that I want and you know basically just glue it on there so I might do that um, but actually the way it is you know once I, glue, once I glue this on the other side it should remain into place so even without it this one looks you know good already 
but uh, we'll see but if I turn this around you could kind of see that you know that molding hugs the the window in place so yeah so this is you know pretty much done already and um, I hope that you will able to pick up some uh, techniques in here to do your own uh, window project for your diorama you know again um, this one is more of like uh, for a, a scratch build window and you can pretty much apply this to any type of dio windows that you're gonna do uh, even though this one is particularly made for a uh, dojo uh, diorama or dojo window for this diorama where you have a bigger and wider window opening all right so i hope that you like this video and as always you guys keep grinding on your dioramas and i'll see you guys next time